Hey everyone, Colin here with Wildwood Magic, and welcome to the Leave No Trace video series. Today we are talking about principle number six, respect wildlife. Yes, all of it. Even though all seven of the principles contribute to respecting wildlife, number six simply asks us to be especially mindful of all of nature when we're entering natural habitats, entering with a humble gratitude and a sense of wonder will reveal even more magical encounters. So take pictures, observe, keep a safe distance, avoid startling anybody or compelling them to flee in fear. Nobody likes that. We can also bring a sense of peace by avoiding loud noises and quick movements, certainly direct eye contact, which can be interpreted as aggressive behavior by many animals. Be particularly aware of disturbing wildlife during sensitive times, during hibernation, while foraging for food, and of course when babies are around, it's when mamas can get. So store or hang all food, trash, odorous items really well, even stuff that's not edible. And certainly never, never feed wildlife, thank you. And if your puppy dog chases wildlife, it's not only unnecessarily stressing animals, but spots actually in danger of being injured, diseased, or even killed. Pets are potential carriers and recipients of diseases, viruses, parasites, you know, transferred by poop. Please pack out all pet waste or deal with it as you would human waste, which burying it, and for goodness sake, please do not put it in a plastic bag and leave it on the side of the trail and say, oh, I'll get that later, because you won't. What's up with this new horrifying <laughs> trend? Whew. You know, a lot of people feel like being outside in nature is the best time to let dogs run free. However, public lands are not the place to have dogs off leash. Keeping your dog under control on a leash at all times is being respectful of all wildlife and humans. Thank you for doing your part to be a good keeper of the land. See you next time.